This is Brandon Slate from thirdstone.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the Safety Squat Bar JM Press First Chains. This is a tricep dominant exercise. Powerlifters like to use to build their triceps for their bench press. So what you're gonna need is a safety squat bar and we've got the like handle parts actually turned out. Nice thing about these Elite FTS ones, the handles do remove. And then we've got our chain set up here with our easy loaders and then our chains. They've got one chain on each side here today for demo purposes. Um, but you're just gonna basically set this up like a bench press and we're gonna use the safety squat bar to do our JM press. So the JM press is a very tricep heavy exercise popularized by JM Blakely uh, that trained at Westside. But essentially it's gonna be like a very heavy skull crusher, but we're actually gonna have some, like, some rolling components. So the safety squat bar actually helps you get that rolled position to where the weight's really actually over your face and then you're gonna drive and extend off. So we're gonna get in our bench press position. And then my hands are gonna get them as close as I can to the pad. So I'm, I'm pretty small, so this is honestly wider than I would like. I would like them probably here, but it is what it is. And then I'm gonna get in my position. And as I go to unrack the bar, I'm gonna bring it in my close grip position. But now, because the handles are here, that's gonna push the fat part of the pad towards my face to roll. And now I'm just gonna extend up with my triceps. So here, down. I'm gonna keep my elbows up the whole time. And we don't want our elbows to come out here, okay? Keep them tucked in on that pad and then we're good to rack. So the chains are gonna allow us to get the load to increase as we go towards lockout. I definitely said I definitely need more chains. Um, I could probably even set the chains a little bit higher if I wanted to change, I had these set up. But then I can also load the weight on there as well. And since the chains are not gonna actually pull down, they're just gonna deload into the ground. This does make this a little bit more tricep friendly or elbow friendly, I'm sorry. So if you have any kind of elbow issues, this might be a way to try your JM press uh, without just doing straight weight or anything. Try the chains first, and that way it's gonna deload in the bottom, but you can still get that tricep training effect. Uh, this is gonna be like a very heavy extension exercise. So I usually like doing this after my supplemental movement of my bench press training. So I might do my bench movement, a movement's gonna help my bench press, and then this would be my third tier option. So some people do like to do this after their main bench work. You could do that as well. I usually like to have it as my first major accessory exercise in anywhere from two to four sets. I have really eight to 10 reps is kind of the sweet spot. I guess you could go up to 12 or as low as six, but I feel like once you start getting really, really heavy on them, you can really start to aggravate your elbows. Where here, if you're kind of doing more reps, it kind of limits the load a little bit and you can still develop the tricep strength really heavily there at your elbow, which is then gonna help your bench press more specifically. So if you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks, have a great day.